Craig Gossett's Rasmus here. Now this is my video entry into Craig from Leaf Life Bushcraft's 500 subs competition video. I want to congratulate you, Craig, for reaching 500 subscribers. I think you make some awesome videos on trees and things like that. You, you really know your stuff about the trees and I think you're a great guy. Congratulations. Now, this is my video response as I said and Craig from Leaf Life Bushcraft asks for us guys to go out and make a video response about two to four minutes long about a tree that we know some stuff about. It can be a favorite tree, but it doesn't have to be. Now this is one of my favorite trees. Maybe it is my favorite tree. I really don't know, I don't care, but I think it's a gorgeous tree anyway. This is the birch tree. And in particular, this is the silver birch tree. Um, now, in Denmark, we have two common birch trees. The first one is the silver birch, which is Betula pendula. And the other one is Betula pubescens. Now I don't know Betula pubescens English name, I just know that silver birch is uh, this tree, okay? So this is the silver birch tree and its Latin name is Betula pendula. Or as I would say when talking Danish, I would say Betula pendula in Danish. So that would be my pronunciation of this tree in its Latin name. Now the identification of this tree is very simple. It's a white tree, pretty much. At the bottom of the tree, it can have some reddish, brown, or even black markings where the bark is even harder than the rest of the tree. The bark also shreds, shreds, and um, and it's kind of a uh, and it's kind of soft. The bark that shreds on the silver birch tree, a lot of the branches will be going downwards like that but you can have some branches that go up, upwards. That's, that's, that, that just happens, okay? But most of the branches, like here at the bottom, go kind of like up and then down, okay? So that's the silver birch tree's identification. Now the uses of this tree is, um, is, uh, is very widespread, as I would say. It's a great carving uh, wood. It's very soft and good for carving. The outer bark can be used for tinder, you can just shred it right off and use it for fire lightning. Now the inner bark is edible, even in its dry state, you can eat it, okay? But you can also boil it down for 10 to 20 minutes until it's reached, until it has reached kind of a spaghetti-like consistency. Um, you can also tap the birch tree um, here in the transition of March to April, or even now in the, um, here in late April, you can also still tap it because we had a long winter, so you can still tap it. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got a lot of uses. You can uh, eat the inner bark, use the outer bark as tinder. You can use the wood for carving. It's not a great wood for fire, but it's great for carving. And uh, like I said, um, you can um, tap the birch tree and use the sap to make syrup. Now, I know uh, one more thing, and that is that the leaves can either be dried out to use for tea or just eaten in the raw state as part of a salad. So uh, that's my video entry, Craig. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that all you other guys enjoyed it as well. That's just my view on the silver birch tree, which is very common in Denmark and it's a tree that I really, I re I really like. I think it's a beautiful tree that is gorgeous to have in the landscape. 